हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू दिस लेक्चर इज अबाउट द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम 12.4 द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम 12.4 इज द कंप्रेसर ऑफ प्रॉब्लम 12.3 हैज एक्चुअल इंडक्शन कंडीशंस ऑफ 1 बार एंड 40 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड द डिलीवरी प्रेशर इज 25 बार taking the bore and stroke as calculated in problem 12.3 calculate the free air delivery refer to 1.013 bar and 15 degree c and the indicated power also we have to find the volumetric efficiency and compare it with problem 12.3 so first of all uh, we have to uh, write the given data Uh, in this problem uh, we have given some information while some information will be taken from problem 12.3 uh, in the above uh, so given data is basically p1 is given that is 1 bar t1 is given temperature t1 that is 40 degree centigrade uh, which is 313 kelvin p2 is 25 bar is in problem 12.3 stroke to bore ratio will be 1.2 also from the previous problem we have solved that stroke is basically 87.8 mm and bore is 73.2 mm we have to find three things first we have to find free air delivery fad second we have to find indicated power third we have to find volumetric efficiency so first we are going to find free air delivery so for that as we know that the mass of that the mass flow rate of the delivered air will be equal to mass flow rate of the induced air so in this case we have expressions for each and every mass flow rate this mass flow rate is basically pressure into free air delivery divided by rt this is basically the perfect gas equation array in arranged form in which mass flow rate has been eliminated like here and it is equal to p1 v dot or rt1 basically we have pv is equal to mrt so to find m it will become pv by rt so for delivery case we replaced v dot with free air delivery and for intake case induction side we used 
v dot so there is no confusion uh, in this expression we are interested to find free air delivery so rearranging this r is the particular gas constant of the air or it is also called specific gas constant having units of joule per kilogram per kelvin so r is same in both cases the value is same so rearranging this we get free air delivery equal to p1 over p into t over t1 into v dot so now putting the values in this expression we get that free air delivery is equal to p1 over here is 1 bar and p is 1.013 bar while t is 288 k1 as from problem 12.3 and t1 which is given in this problem that is 313 k1 into v dot v dot is basically 0.25 from problem 12.3 so simplifying these values we get free air delivery is equal to 0.227 cubic meter per minute so this is the required free air delivery second we have to find the indicated power so for that we have the expression that is indicated power is equal to n over n minus 1 m dot r t1 into p2 by p1 power n minus 1 by n minus 1 so let's suppose this is equation or expression 1 now here we know that n is equal to 1.3 which is given in problem 12.3 the value of r for air is 287 joule per kilogram per kelvin P two P one are given, and only we have mass flow rate, which is unknown. So let's find mass flow rate first. So for that, mass flow rate will be equal to P one. v dot over r t1 putting the values p1 is 1 bar converting it into pascal v dot is 0.25 cubic meter per minute over r is 287 joule per kilogram per kelvin r 0.287 to the power 3 multiplied by temperature t1 that is 313 also converting the v dot into cubic meter per second we will divide the expression by 60 so after calculations we get 4.63 into 10 rest power minus 3 kilogram per second. So this is the mass flow rate. 
Now put the value of this mass flow rate and value of nr in the expression 1. So indicated power will be equal to 1.3. We can write that expression 1 becomes 1.3 minus 1 into 4.63 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 0 0.287 into 10 to the power 3 into 313 into 25 by 1 1.3 minus 1 or 1.3 minus 1 so putting the values indicated power is equal to in this case indicated power is 1.98 kilowatt Also, third, we have to find the volumetric efficiency. So, for that, we have the expression that is volumetric efficiency is equal to V by Vs. So, to find V, we have equation that is free air delivery by N, so it becomes 0 0.227 or N is 1000 from problem 12.3, so it becomes 0 0.227 to 10 raised power minus 3 cu cubic meter. Also, we have solved in 12.3 problem that swift volume is basically 0 0.3694 into 10 raised power minus 3 cubic meter. So, now putting these values over here, it will become 0 0.227 10 raised power minus 3 over 0.3694 due to rest power minus 3. So simplifying this we get the value of volumetric efficiency that is 61.4 percent. So to compare this value the previous problem has discussed so in previous from problem 12.3 we have the value of volumetric efficiency that is equal to 67.67 percent while the value of volumetric efficiency over here is 61.4 percent so by changing the induction conditions the change in volumetric efficiency has been taken place. So this is the difference. Almost 5 to 6 percent difference is there. So by increasing the temperature the volumetric efficiency decreases as it is obvious from this solution. So this is the solution of problem 12.4. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.